All right, happy Fourth of July, everybody. Um, about to get started here. Get rid of that. So, I have just a few trophies left for this. I don't know if it's reasonable to finish all of them in this stream, but kind of try it. Unfortunately, I can't believe I don't have the Squirmy Master one yet. That's a real surprise. The other ones are a big pain in the butt. Hold on, let me open my Twitch dashboard. Um, I'm kind of surprised I don't have these other ones. Well, not the Rule Breaker one. Defeating people with melee in this is not the preferred way to go. Uh, so, let's make sure our character is as American as possible. Because it's good old America's birthday. Let's be... Obvious choice is Shiki. Because she is the honorary white girl. Alright, what's the most goddamn American thing we can put you in? Give me something with some, some good old flag colors. Hmm. I'm not sure there's anything that specifically fits it. It's a Japanese game after all, but you can try. Eh, none of those are that fitting. Hmm. Well, that's the, that's the stripes at least. We just gotta get some blue. Probably just, can I just make your hair blue? There you go! There you go. Good enough. I forgot I gave her bat options. That's one of the fun things you can do with the accessories in this. Freedom. Alright. Alright, I forgot this had a VR mode added. I've never even touched it. Alright, and let's change... Let's change our system voice to Shiki. Where... That is really annoying. Uh, how is the... How's the audio balance, by the way? I tried to turn everything down a little bit. <laughs> and now you know why I pick Shiki. She is definitely the most American. Alright, so... Let me look up the best way to even get these trophies. These ones, these ones are the real pain in the butt. I kind of... Hmm. You could probably turn both you and the game up a bit. I kind of turned both of us down on purpose. Just so it would be like not crazy loud and like this way I can never hit the red peak, but is it that quiet even on like a regular thinger? Regular one? Uh beach, beach splash. Let's say hello. I'm just looking up how to get these ridiculous trophies that are really annoying to get. Level pawns, name kit. Mobs don't count, yeah, yeah. Luca and any projectile pet. Luca. Just spawn them out. I'm not sure who Luca is. Um, let me set up my stuff. Let's go to Shiki. Uh, how do I... Here we go. So we're gonna need all pets that are really strong. What is this? I don't know what this Luca pet is. Maybe that hands out. Ah! Oh, that's the... That's Kafuru's dolphin, dude. Who I'm not sure is, like, real or... A toy. It's got, like, a patch on it, but... It talks. It's complicated. I don't know if the robots... I assume the robots don't count. Because it seems like... It feels like that would have said so. Paradise... Puppet ball. 
Use puppet ball. Oh, this thing. That works. Mr. Cow over here. Uh, you're gonna need to be leveled up. That'll do. It's okay, but I had to turn my volume way up. Alright, I'll turn them both up, like... That... Okay, I turned them both up by five decibels. How does that sound? I always have my streams... Huh. Yeah, I don't know why it's... My streams come out quiet, and I don't know why, because according to my stream software, I'm, like, just kind of barely riding the level that you should, like... Avoid. That should be strong enough for this guy. I'll never use him after this, probably. This one is apparently really good, actually, so I may as well... Yeah, I'll just max him out. So I only got three trophies left to get. Or four, actually. The squirmy finished one, I have no idea. How to know what I'm missing for that one. But, I don't know. I'll get these other ones first. So if you've never played this game before, it's um, basically a third-person shooter uh, Sonic Kagura game, except you're... Um, as might be obvious, it's a water gun fight. So, what... Let me move this over here, this over here... Um... No bitrate issues in a little while. This has been pretty good. This one. Um. Which one? The Kage. Oh yeah, this one. This one seems to be the best one for grinding stuff. I grind some other stuff in this one. May as well see how fast it goes this way. Um, can I be not you? I set up Shiki, not you. There you are. I usually leave Twitch streams at default 50 volume. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with audio. With hmm. I could add a filter to like add extra volume. But I don't know. I just don't want to have peeking and stuff. I can always screw around with the uh, volume a little bit. Um, for the upload on YouTube now, actually. Which is kind of both nice and annoying. i wait for this thing. Get ready to hear that a lot, unfortunately. I, I don't think my pet did anything. Please do something. Oh, there he goes. Oh, no. Oh, I do have protective cards I can use. <laughs> Using pets is not usually my preferred way to go, so that's why I don't have that trophy already. Rude. Help Bucket Cow! Ow. Bucket Cow, you suck! Bucket Cow is terrible. Oh, Bucket Cow beat Minori, at least. So... How's everybody's fourth been? I don't really observe other than I made a nice old big steak, so that was all. There we go. It's working. Who's even still? Oh, there we go. Okay, this won't be as painful as I thought then. I don't know how many extra pet KOs I have to do, but it shouldn't be that bad. Don't 
Oh, I noticed, I found with, um, I was playing some more Burst Renewal yesterday, um, after the stream. You can actually, um, there's actually like a skin tone option, first time in the series, as far as I know, unless Peach Ball had it. But, uh, it's pretty cool. What's funny is there's a tan, there's a quote-unquote tan skin option. It's actually way darker than Pomora's skin tone, which is an actual tan. And she doesn't, like, <laughs> her skin tone does not end the options. kind of weird. It's, it's fairly limited, there's just four options. But, uh, still a wel welcome change. That wasn't too bad, so I guess I may as well do it on max difficulty. I'm not like a min-maxer in this game, but the defensive and healing cards seem really good. And the sniper rifle is pretty dang good. I have no idea how that works for water, but... Video games. You also have a water jetpack. How do I charge? There's a reload button. Alright, oh, there we go. <laughs> this the actual story that we're playing. H Hikage just has brain damage from the heat. That's actually good too. I need to get lots of soaking wet power ups, which you just get by getting. Well, soaking wet. I'm not leaving the house, that's for sure. Yeah, Parker. <laughs> Parker does not like the fireworks. He was kind of okay after a while. There, there was a bunch of fireworks yesterday, and obviously there'll be even more today. I should hope there's more today, <laughs> considering it's the proper day for such things. But, um... A lot of people, like... Not waiting, I guess. Speaking of Parker, I got some fancy... I got some fancy cat food that's like so fresh you gotta refrigerate it and stuff. Um, he ate one piece of it and like within five minutes he puked, so... I guess... <laughs> I guess I won't be using that. Oh, this one is pretty dang effective, dang. Okay, this will not take long at all. I don't know if maybe you're supposed to... I didn't... It's refrigerated, maybe... He just didn't like that it was cold? I have no idea. It didn't say to heat it up or anything. Like, it's pre-cooked. So, I don't know, but... <laughs> I guess I won't be giving it to him again. It's this chicken and pumpkin, which doesn't seem... I mean, pretty much all cat food has something that stretches the, the actual meat content. But... <laughs> Kind of an odd. I mean, it's usually rice. I have no idea if pumpkin is more or less good for cats than pumpkin than rice. But... I just ate one little nugget. He didn't chew. I don't know if that was the problem, but he wasn't super excited about it either. Which usually for treats, he's like super ready. He's been very picky about food lately, though. Need any of these cards. So you have four skill cards. I'm sure there's FPSs or whatever that this took the inspiration from. But you have like four skills that recharge automatically. And they can heal you, they can protect you, they can be attacks, stuff like that. And I need to use some specific ones to uh, get a couple trophies that I never got. Could have just been cold. Maybe. I guess. I'm not sure Parker's ever eaten stuff like from the fridge. It has to be refrigerated though, so I guess I could try and... I'll heat it. It was half off, so I thought I would try it. I thought it would be like, all fancy and nice. I mean, cats don't usually eat their food cooked either, but refrigerator cold might be... Oh, that was quick. Wow, that, was, that did not take half as long as I was fearing. Okay, so now I just have to do melee attacks. Good 
Pets are actually pretty good then. I just never bother with them because they just... I don't know. Which is weird because I usually like stuff that you don't have to manually control. Just casually using a scythe. Just shinobi things. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I put the Fudumaki roll in. Who was that? Um, I think I put that on Minori. Alright, so now I need to do the melee one. I don't know if this would be really any different. I just kind of need to use defensive things and use lots of melee. Uh, probably change the difficulty down a bit. Uh, deck edit. You. Uh, you. I usually use the defensive and healing pets, and then these things. The. Oh. I've never used you. It seems like that might be alright. This game is like half advertisement for their card game. Or kind of almost a replacement for it, I guess. But a lot of the cards are from the Senator Kagura card game. New Wave, I think it's called. And um, all of the skills and stuff, well, except for like the puppet, the pets and stuff, um, are based on that. So I guess you can just play this instead of the card game. But you don't get the new crap. But the, the card game is Gashapon, as you would expect. <laughs> I I used to really like, you know, Pokemon sell card game stuff, but it was kind of the original Gashapon, and I never liked that, so I always liked the um, Pokemon card game on Game Boy, and I was like, oh, eventually I'll, I'll, you know, you'll just be able to play card games on your PC and you'll just pay once. Boy, was I wrong. Typically over-optimistic tap-tap. They did make a second. I can't. I can't see myself either. This actually makes it a little harder. I wasn't expecting to just be literally invisible. Okay, this one will probably be harder. I don't know how many KOs I've gotten with melee, but it's probably less than with pets. Oh, we got one. Oh, you can go straight from a dash into a melee. That's helpful. This game unfortunately does the Zelda thing where it has a low health noise. At least give me an option to not do the low health noise. Also, this game is a really accessible third-person shooter. Japan isn't as into third-person shooters, or third or first-person. Um, so this game was kind of designed as Babby's first third-person shooter in a way. It's, um... <laughs> um, it has pretty strong auto aim if you turn it on. All oh, right, Her Haruka. I put on Haruka. I know what you're talking about. Um, um, and it's also got a mechanic where once you lose half your HP, you get like knocked back. It's basically just like when you lose, uh, when you lose your clothes in the main game. Um, you get knocked back and you have invincibility for a little bit, so you can never be just instantly knocked out by a sniper or anything like that. Plus there's the skills to add some, you know, it's almost like, this game's almost like to a first person shooter what Smash Bros is to a fighting game. It's designed to be a lot more accessible and has a lot more, a lot more randomness involved as well, but uh... With really skilled use of the of the sniper rifle, you can you can take out somebody. I think in like I forget if it's two or four, but you can take out people pretty quickly. You just have to run after they get their their invincibility frames. I always preferred high time to kill first person shooters like Unreal and stuff. 
Obviously, people could still, like, Redeemer you and a sniper rifle. Without an overshield, a sniper rifle was a one-hit kill. But... It wasn't like, oh, knife in the back, instant dead. I, I'm not a fan of this COD style of stuff. I'm so sorry that you have to hear Hikage literally screaming several times, but... This is the best stage to grind on. I might get this one on accident. I wasn't even trying for this one. The soaking wet power-up thing. That just gives you infinite ammo. And I think that's it. Great. I'm just grinding for the last trophies. I have like... Yeah, I just have four to go. Plus I can always use some more experience. All the card duplicates you get go into, um, just turn into experience. Oh, there's the fireworks. Those 2 p.m. fireworks. This is especially weird because it's gonna start raining here pretty early. It stops raining at about 7, so... It's an especially poor day for... Alright. I'm really close to another power-up, so... The soaking wet power-up thing is interesting because um, every time you get wet, you get it adds to that meter, and you can actually power up your friends. Oops, I don't need to use shots. Um, there we go. Um, you can actually use it to power up your friends, and some weapons are way better at powering people up. Like sniper rifles are pretty bad at it, but like rapid fire weapons like the minigun or the hose um, are a little bit less DPS um, on enemies. But they really help you charge up your friends, so there's a lot of strategery in that regard. If you bother helping your friends. The a with the if you're f playing with the AI, they're not as good at with it. It's also got a tower defense kind of mode that you can play in co-op, which is pretty cool. I streamed that a while ago. Um, it's a lot better to play with people than try to hope randos are playing. Especially because, oops. Stupid. Yeah, this this audio cord is definitely going. I have the worst luck with 3.5 jack cords. The the ones I try to use in my car. I I got a pack of three cheapo ones, but none of them work very well. And then this one. This is a cord off of pretty expensive, like $200 pair of headphones. The headphones are still fine, but the the cord. I probably run it over with the chair and like. Parker's attacked it and stuff, but still. The game also gives you some iframes when you spawn, so spawn camping isn't really a thing. I mean, you can do it if you want to die, but... They also learned how to do transparency effects just for this game, like dynamic wetness physics. My stream just keeps getting moister, it's it's not even on purpose. Maybe a little bit on purpose in this case. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what that water gun accuracy thing means. Oh hey, twofer. Moist. <laughs> the squirmy finishes is this thing. And I have no idea why I haven't gotten all of them. There can't possibly be that many different animations. You just have to watch all the different animations. There's only three points to focus on, and I'm sure I've done each of them plenty of times. <laughs> oh shit! Gotta love the announcers.
Oh, come on. Stop that. There you go. I think each character has a different set. Well, not each character, but like, there's a few different sets, and so like certain... Based on the personality of the character, they'll have different reactions to different things. Like... So... I probably just need to do each kind of scrummy finish on each different type of character. I'm sure there's a list. If I can look that up. Because these ones, this will be easy to grind. Is there like a stats page? Yeah, this is a library. That seems like something this might have. Uh, skill card, illustration, uh, total records. There's an ass load of different skill cards in this game, by the way. It's kind of ridiculous, but you don't really need all of them. Huh. I don't think it does track. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't track what you, um... I mean, obviously it tracks with the trophy, but I can't see what I'm missing. Pretty sure I have everything in the shop, right? Oh, I don't have all the cards, obviously, so... Also, everyone can be the shopkeep in this, which is neat. There was just one shopkeep in Estival. Also, Super Sonico is in this. Alright, didn't Neptune come out for this? How do I look for that? I thought we had Nep- I thought I got Neptune. Uh, add on type characters. Nice. No? Was she added in Estival versus not Peach Beat Splash? I don't know. Weird if so. I'm kind of I'm kind of sad they didn't keep doing more uh, crossovers in this because there was the um, the Super Sonico obviously, and there was the uh, frick Icky Towson or something things. Anyway, whatever. Let's just finish grinding this here. This one. Oh, no, not you. There we go. Shouldn't be too many more of these, then I can just do some other stuff. It says Neptune is in PBS. It doesn't seem to want to Battery problems. I thought I got her. The station store. Maybe she's not in the in-game store, but in... Themes. Hmm. I thought she was in PBS, because PBS has... Um, the one notable downgrade from the other games is that everyone doesn't have their own completely unique animations. Like, animations are by weapon. As you'd pretty much expect. Um, Neptune doll. Oh, here we go. I could have swore I got that. Maybe I just wasn't playing when it came out. I'm not sure Neptune is American enough for America Day, but we may as well use her once or twice. Do we have to restart the game? Usually you don't on PS4 games. It's pretty neat. I mean, most of the time with DLC, it's basically just an unlock code. So you don't have to, like, wait. Unless it's, like, a full expansion pack or shit. Oh, well, plus in, like, a multiplayer game, you have to have the models and shit anyway. I mean... This is 
a little louder. No, I'm just listening to this way louder than I should be. <laughs> I usually listen on 20% volume while streaming. But animations aren't completely shared between characters either. Obviously the melee is different. Um, there's sort of different sets of defeat, like victory and loss animations, I think. Or actually, no, I think the victory is based on what weapon you're using. Uh, but the loss animation is based kind of on the character. I'm not doing as good this time. I think I chose a higher difficulty. I don't know. Yeah, I definitely have to do a lot more melees than pets. You gotta love the character variety in Senriki Girl. I've never seen a, a game do this many characters this well and not have like repeated use of the same old tropes and all that kind of stuff. And every character has their own voice actress. It's ridiculous. They've got 30 different people and no one shares a voice actress as far as I have seen. I was kind of stunned when I saw that. How do you do, fellow American Mr. Rosen? A little stiff today. I woke up. I woke up with a sore throat, which usually means I'm getting sick. So that's why I'm not really imbibing the old American ale. Um, but uh, I don't feel. I didn't feel too bad. I slept in a couple extra hours, um, but not too bad. Just a little sore. But I should probably take some ibuprofen. Didn't even think of that. I don't think anybody with this game is watching, are they? Um, I think in a multi... If we did the defense mode, we could probably get knock out that um, soaking wet power-up thing in like a couple minutes. But I'll get it eventually. As you can see. I can't be that drastically far from it. The AoE on melee is also ridiculous. It's pretty cool. I mean, you're, you're a freaking ninja. It should be. Excuse me. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to do stuff, buddy. Stay still and let me beat you up. We can't possibly have to do this more than twenty times. I'm sure. I'm sure I have more than zero melee KOs. Is that audio level better now? By the way, I turned it up like y'all said. On easy. Wait, let's let's try Neptune a bit. Oh wait, I gotta switch. Where are you? Uh, where are you? I probably gotta close and restart. I'll get this trophy first, I guess. I've had that happen in some games though, where you, you buy a DLC and you can just immediately use it, you don't have to close and reopen. I kinda wish you could choose the color for the guns. Cause like, you, you level them up, and the, the ones... The ones just below max level, I think are like, a cool black color. I kinda like, prefer those. This game is so fun. It looks like, is it only on PS4? No, um, it's on PC now. 
as well. Senator Kagura stuff usually ends up on PC now. Um, takes a, you know, takes a few months or a year, but, uh, the stuff that comes out on PS4 at least usually did. Um, not doing as well this time. I don't think I knocked them out any faster on easy. I don't know if Burst Renewal is out on PC, and none of the 3DS ones are, because that's, that's a much bigger port job. But uh, PBS is... Senator Kagor 11 probably will be after release. Whenever we get it, unfortunately that got delayed. Only 20 bucks on Steam. Yeah, that's a, that's a good deal. I like the physical edition, so I always... Plus, I have a PS4 anyway, and I don't like to wait, so I always get the PS4 versions, but, uh... I've gotten a couple of the other ones on Steam, just because they were cheap. Come on. Don't... Yes. Where'd you go? But even if you've never played Senor Kagura, it's a pretty easy one to get into. Um, you won't know the characters as well. And this one doesn't really do... It doesn't do a full job of introducing everybody, but you can't really expect that for 30 characters in every single game either. Oh, you got PC issues? My PC's been giving me some grief, but I'll probably get a Ryzen this year. I've been crashing when I encode for too long, and... It's been weird. On Steam, they usually bundle the DLC a lot better, or at least, I think they did with with Shinobi versus or something. There's usually too much DLC. You don't really need any of the DLC other than maybe the character ones, but they usually release outfits like piecemeal, which is issues is an understatement. Um, Did they even go back in? Will Neptune be there, or...? No. Alright. Let me close and reopen, then. Oh, yeah! Um, what's that game's name? Lapis and Labyrinth. I, I need to, uh... I should stream that sometime. It's a cool little game. It's like an action RPG kind of dealy. I... <laughs> I really wanted to check it out. I, I checked it out a little bit before launch, but um, didn't end up making a video for it yet. I'll probably just stream it sometime. Let's see if he was old. You can do a lot with like even just like a starter PC for like oh, four hundred bucks. Cheaper if you want to go cheaper, but she likes something. Honestly, when getting a C when getting a a new build, the biggest things you want to worry about is you want a good case that's easy to work with and you want a motherboard that you can expand on. Because otherwise, the moment that you have to upgrade, you'll have to get either a new box or a new motherboard if stuff isn't supported. Alright, is Neptune now in here? There you are. Now I have to level you up. Fortunately, experience, like... Everything is leveled up by the same experience pool. Um, so even though Neptune is brand new here, I can just level her up to level 6. Just with some cards I already have. I'm so nervous about get, building my own. It's really not that hard. I really recommend um, trying to build your own if you're at all capable. It's really like just building with Legos. They're expensive Legos, but... <laughs> Pretty much everything only fits in one possible slot. There's not really... You can't really screw it up. I mean, you can screw it up, but generally you either have to try, um, or you have to be doing something above your pay grade, like... I, I wouldn't recommend, like, applying thermal paste and stuff, because that... 
there's some technical skill involved there. But uh, just getting it out of the box CPU. This one. Just getting a plain old out of the box CPU. Um, stick on the fan there. Shouldn't be that hard. I don't know why they picked the flattest character in the game to like put in here, but <laughs> this way Mirai isn't alone, I guess. Which is my defensive one? Yeah, it's this one. You can save weapon sets or card sets, so cuts down on swapping stuff. I don't know why I'm nervous. I could probably do it. Oh, if you did a Nintendo DS game by Micro, oh, yeah, you did that thing where you chop. <laughs> A DS in half. I never really understood that unless, like, your top half just doesn't work. Yeah, Neptune! <laughs> yeah, Vert would have been a much better choice in my opinion, but I mean, she's the poster girl, so. They could have just done both, or like, all three or four of the main people. I have less HP now, though, so that's gonna be a little annoying. What is your t oh, I've got a paper fan. It's not super Neptune-y, but it's fairly uh, shinobi friendly, I guess. Where'd y'all go? I hate that stupid bear. Murasaki's creepy bear, stuffed bear thing. The worst thing in the game, get out of here. After Hanzo, Hanzo is the actual worst, but... Get up! Man, how many of more so Silicon power-ups do I even freaking need? I would have figured she'd use like an eggplant or something. I guess maybe she'd be too scared to handle an eggplant. No, stop that. Hey, farmer. Ice tea superiority day. Is iced tea even an American thing? I'm so freaking short. Like I said, she, she's, she, she'll, she's just here to make Mirai not feel alone. Oh, does she have her usual outfit? Let me see. Best drink on earth. No. Re regular, regular human tea is superior to iced variety. I'll admit, as a kid, I only started drinking Earl Grey tea because, because, um, because Picard ordered it, but I don't regret it. Any clothes options that come with Neptune? You probably just get them for free, but. Nope, still own everything. Uh, I'm gonna just buy a bunch of packs. I don't know which. I know I'm missing one pet thing. Nothing new. New, but not a pet. I have no idea which packs I actually need to open. But I know that I'm missing pets. It, it the, ooh, there we go! That, that I think is the last pet. That's, I don't need that for an achievement. It would be very cruel to require 100% completion for trophies in this. There's a fucking lot of cards. And you really don't need them. But, and when this game came out, you used to only be able to buy packs one at a time. And 
that got extremely annoying. Oh wait. Let's see what Neptune says is the thing. It's 100 degrees and thundering hot. A hot tea would destroy me. True! <laughs> She's still got a little... thinger. Just in case you forget that that's Neptune. Um, give me a... Give me one of these. Nothing new. Lady Grey is better than Earl Grey? I'm not sure I've had Lady Grey. Um, what are we doing here? Oh, here we go. Check out Bleptoon's outfits. Just gotta have the hoodie, right? There we go. <laughs> oh, I guess that's like a separate thing. X. Oh, oh, neat. All of her little... They don't really work. <laughs> they don't really work with her... Parka and stuff. Let me just save that old outfit as a favorite thing. Where's Neptune's? Does Neptune even have one? Or is it just like the default Mariah swimsuit? No, she had something different, didn't she? Maybe not? Probably low default, right? Look kind of weird, so I'll get rid of those. How do I? Oh, neat! It's got like purple heart colors. Uh, I'll just take those off though, because they kind of just clip through the thingy. Men no ring. I make the milkiest, weakest tea. <laughs> I'm not sure you're allowed to be British. <laughs> I don't think we need two of those. Just the one. X. Oh, this is a choker. That one actually works fine. I like that her choker has like a little release button that looks very... It's a very futuristic little thinger. Anyway. There she is! up some melee. I kind of wish it would show you some progress. Like, Steam lets you do that sometimes. I mean, not all games do. Where? Where's the thing? There it is. <laughs> Wouldn't be a holiday without a family fight. That's right. Squeak. This is the most British row ever. Oh, 
Oh, you have a freaking jetpack, by the way, if that was unclear. I haven't really needed to use it for this. And the kind of jetpack you have differs by weapon. As does, uh, how long it lasts. I'm not 100% sure why Neptune, of all people, has a paper fan, but... It says something on it, I don't know what it is though. Just use like, a game manual or something. Stop that. Get, get, get back! What are you doing here, kid? We're like an hour in and I haven't used a single water gun because of these achievements. Soon though. At least hopefully I'll get it soon. That can't possibly be... I must have done at least like 10 times. Cake champion. What's everyone's favorite cake? I don't know. I'm not a huge cake fan. I usually get a cookie cake. Well, I guess cookie cake is an option, huh? I just get cookie cake for my birthday. Lots of frosting is my favorite type of cake. Too many cookie cakes, like... If your cookie cake has less... has more than, like, 40% of its surface area of cookiness visible, you, you've done a terrible job decorating. I see ones with, like, there's barely any frosting on it. It's just... That's, that's just not right. Because as much... As, as decent as the cookiness aspect of it, it's a little dry to just eat totally, you know, untouched cookie. <laughs> My plan of rush directly into the middle of them didn't work very well. I'm gonna get the soaking wet trophy before I get the other one. Get 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 back here. There's reload time on your melee, oddly. Just so you can't spam it, of course. Get get back here! You plebs! Hey, you get some rainbows from the soaking wet finger. And the with water. We gotta have rainbows. <laughs> what did she say? It's not the low health sound, it's the low ammo sound. Oh, there's different firing modes, too. That's just basically toggles the auto-aim. Oh, no, it's different per weapon, actually. For sniper rifle, it's auto-aim. There's, there's, there's some auto-aim for every gun, because like I said, this design is a very accessible third-person shooter. Got to have an eclipse there. <laughs> Alright, can't be too many more melee clears I gotta do. I don't 
think normal is any less or any more difficult, really. Twitch informed me that I, everyone now has access to subscriber-only streams, and it's the option is still grayed out. It says you do not meet m minimum requirements for this. So it lied to me, but I don't really plan to do any of those. We do do subscriber-only voice chat streams with the with the thing arena board game night. But only subscribers can watch. They've had a lot more subscribers. Even if I had a lot more subscribers, I'm not sure what I would really do with that. I prefer the, you know, interaction for subscribers and everyone else can watch kind of thing. Because I always like that people can just watch my stuff and not have to pay and all that. That's one of the most, you know, important aspects of the internet to me. <laughs> she doesn't look like she minds that that much, I just noticed that. Yeah, board game night is in two days. Um... <laughs> oh shit! I love when the AI shoots in the exact wrong direction, but it's not hard mode AI. Sometimes you just gotta kind of make them a little bit derp. My favorite—they can—they consistently do that. Um, my favorite method of difficulty adjustment is the worms thing, where the the AI is capable of only either doing completely godlike impossible ricochet shots or just shooting directly into a wall that's right in front of them. And there's no in between. <laughs> Gotta love Worms AI. Come here, let me bap you. Bap. Bap. How many more baps do I need to do? Good lord. I'm doing a good lot of drink this week, so I'll top it off on Saturday and take it easy for us and on. I hope they do a sequel of this or something at some point and we get more crossover characters. I was kind of hoping once we got Neptune. We would at least get the rest of the main Neptunia characters, or some other crossovers and stuff. Get, I don't know, get Blackrock Shooter in there, get... Are you making Bergs? I felt like more like steak than Bergs. It's made a big ol' steak. I was contemplating drinking for the stream, but yeah. I was feeling a little sick this morning. And we'll get plenty of drinking at the, at the board game night. Which again, let me remind, even if you're a Twitch um, if you got um, Twitch Prime, you can join the drinking game stream with your Twitch uh, Prime thinger. Or a regular subscription, they're, they're the exact same thing. The only thing about a Twitch Prime sub is that you have to remember to actually use it. I wish you could mute the story bits on replays. Because this is just the level for grinding. But the, the dialogue's a little annoying. Mostly just Tikhage literally screaming. That's, ow. Pretty good to get the soaking wet thing too. I wasn't even planning on that. But I guess four on one. 
Or is it five on there? Oh, no, it's four. Get, get, get over here, kid. As you can tell, soaking wet power up does not make you invincible. It just gives you infinite ammo. Oops. That was a shot. I wasn't supposed to do that. Oops. Oh. High frames, please. The weapons in this are fun too. I haven't, I haven't been using them because my, I need the trophies for not using weapons. Um, but there's a. There's a quote-unquote flamethrower that spits water, obviously. There's a hose, which is like a different kind of water thrower. There's a rocket launcher, there's a sniper. There's most of the usuals. There's a... The pistols don't seem that good. I usually go for the sniper, or the minigun, or the, uh... The hose. It's a double pistol and a regular pistol. I think the, the regular pistol seems uniquely bad. I didn't get it. I didn't get the trophy and not realize did I? No. So close. The Squirmy Master one. I'll have to like look up a guide on how to do that. That would be boring to watch. So I'll just finish this up. And then we'll do... The tournament thing or something. I can see if anybody's on the, uh... Multiplayer thing, but probably not. The game's like two or three years old, and match finding for older games is... pain in the ass. I always thought consoles and stuff could do a way better job of, like, match finding. Like, what I always thought is they could, like, make a list of people that, like, tried to play but like couldn't find a match and like you get a notification if somebody else around that time tries to match tries to match make cuz like what are the odds that somebody will be trying to match make the exact like 5 second window versus like a 1 hour window I still kind of prefer proper server browsers over matchmaking. Not that you can really ever find server browsers. Does Halo have server browsers again yet? Stop that. Halo with only matchmaking just seems sad face. I think new Unreal has proper server thing. Is this game online? Um, this game has online and um, this game has regular, a full single player campaign. It has a thing where you play basically the online mode against bots and it has proper online. Both competitive and like regular multiplayer stuff. Or like cooperative and competitive. There's like a tower defense mode that's pretty neat. I just need to get some more people to do it with. Give me that freaking trophy. There we go! Thank you! Thank you! As you can see, it's much easier when you don't have to melee everything. Only modern games I played still have server browser CSGO and Killing Floor 2. Jeez. These people are fine. Yeah, I, I definitely prefer cooperative. There's so much less of an incentive to be a dick, and like, there's, I, I found in cooperative games there's just so much less like screaming racial slurs into the mic and stuff like that. Even with TF2, at least before it went free to play, I found people were much more civil on the voice chat because you actually had to work with your team, and it wasn't just like, you know 
try to have your team get more points than the other team and stuff. I haven't, I haven't bought Halo since, well, Halo Reach, which we streamed. That was a really fun stream. One of my longest, too. Hi, this is what it's called, V-Road Challenge. This is... This is basically like um, simulated multiplayer, so you can just play this instead or play the... Uh, the campaign's pretty fun. The, the humor aspect is a big part of um, the game, so... We gotta get the campaign. How do I oh stick Neptune in there? Wait, what? KF two Super Brothers great. Hey, I've heard good things about Killing Floor, but. I think I have. I have at least the first one. Not, excuse me. Not sure I have the second one. But I haven't played it. I think I pretty much got my fill of online multiplayer shooters in, um, in early college, late, um, late high school. That's when <laughs> everything seemed to be an online multiplayer first person shooter and for a while I was pretty fine with that. Playing lots of Halo. Oh, more heal cards. This is a weird gear set for me. Maybe I was trying to get at the trophy for using all skill cards. Or for using a hundred skill a hundred skill KOs or whatever. Fiona's dialogue is great. She's in the spirit of the stream. You can revive you can revive your buddies when they're down. You can tell when I get a KO because it'll do a quick little cutscene thing. It doesn't do that in multiplayer. Hey Kepless. You only get one shot with this thing before reload. It's a sniper after all. That's why getting getting the soaking wet power up with this is very nice. You can also switch between auto aim and manual, like on the fly, without opening menus and shit. It's just the L button, L1 button here. Oh, 
The children have stopped rowing about tea, yes. All the little Brits coming in here and talking about tea. MGS5 is really good. Story, bless so. Oh wait, new card. Um, the story <laughs> really falls apart, but um, honestly, it's one of those games that like it has like a post-ending thing that like kind of makes it worse. <laughs> like that that final quiet mission. For one thing, that was the most unfun mission in the whole game. That was painful to play. Um, and beyond that. It, the whole quiet thing <laughs> sucked. Uh, great game gameplay wise, though. I would say it's my favorite. It's not finished, to be fair. True, but yeah, we were supposed to obviously see a lot more with uh, Babby Liquid. The jetpacks make sniper rifles so much more fun to use. I'm not usually a sniper kind of guy. Plus, the aim is a lot more generous, so using it in midair is not like impossible. Like it realistically kind of should be. Your shinobis, it's it's fine. There we go. Oh, hey, got two for. Getting into rhythm the sniper rifle is a little tricky because you you have to reload every shot and there's not an auto reload. Actually, I think hmm, I don't think that there ever is an auto reload because you can use your remaining water for like a jump or a boost. The skills and stuff that'll auto fill it up for you. I keep forgetting to use my skills. Thinking of for some reason, if you stay back, the AI doesn't really. Even if you're getting most of the points, the AI doesn't really know to target you, even on the hard mode. the The challenge in the hard mode of this thing really is just making sure you, the rest of your team doesn't lose, so you don't. Um, you don't. Um, who's he? What's it? Bullying is a crime, by the way. Um, <laughs> so the enemy team doesn't get more points than you. I'm not used to much advantage. Oh yeah, Gato Roboto. I've been meaning to try that out. I have. I need. I need to finish Iconoclast first, though. If you're not usually into um, Metroidvanias, by the way, I hear that Iconoclast is a lot more linear. Like, it's more it's more about the boss fights, from what I could tell from the development stuff. I follow the, the dev. The dev's really cool on Twitter. I good follow. Made some of the good action-based games before. Great pixel art and everything, though. I'm sure I'll really like it. Give me that- give me the soaking wet trophy already. I should be able to platinum this, like, today, though. I'll just have to, like, look up a guide for how to do all the swimmer squirmy finishes. It's probably just a character that I just never happen to play against that I need to... do. <laughs> face cracks me up. Trying to 100%? Oh, God. Yeah, some of the extra missions and stuff. I was originally kind of on the path to do that, plus the new... 
the new DLC or like the updates added a lot of incredibly expensive garbage to buy, and that just kind of I was like, oh, I'll never have all of these. Yeah, it's a great game. I wouldn't necessarily, I wouldn't bother trying to update or trying to 100% it myself. No. I mean, they are shinobis and stuff. And they're obviously, they're obviously using, considering the range, they're obviously using some pretty high powered stuff. But because of, you know, Nimpo magic, only clothing ever, ever gets damaged. <laughs> VA recording sessions must have been insane for this game. <laughs> Definitely some intensity in some of them, yes. I'd love to hear like the the direction instructions for what's going on. Neptune is making a lot of sounds for <laughs> me just kind of hopping around here. Yakuza is another game I gave up on trying 100%. There's a bit too much to do that. Really fun game though, and I love all the stuff you can do in it. And some of the skill cards can do like either buff or debuff the whole team. Debuff the enemy team, obviously. I'm not using, like, any of my skills. Get into. The pets in particular, you kind of want to have them out at all times, just because they're automatic. If you get one of them to use, anyway. This mission, I think, is one of the better ways to grind money and cards, by the way. It gives a pretty good deck. Bird heaven. This is the appropriate place to be on the 4th of July. is heaven, ass is hometown. Huh. 
an ultra rare. But you can buy, um... You can buy 10 booster packs for each round of that, so... Pretty good. Let's go do that now. Oh, well, I can buy 32. Um... I wish it would tell me... I wish it would tell me which one I have the most missing cards from. Let's buy some of each. I don't really intend to get 100% of the cards in the game, but it would be nice to. I keep forgetting to ever use Naruko. Oh, we got Bun. Bun is always good. At least the odds seem actually, like, actually even. Like, in a lot of Gashapon games, characters of the same rarity do not actually have the same chance of appearing. But since this isn't, like, free to play, it's not really incentive to do that kind of bullshit. I can't believe... Uh, Jim Sterling just did a good video on, you know, free to play whaling and stuff like that. And I can't believe... The, it's still such a like a contentious debate and people are like still completely unaware of the grossness that goes into uh boing boing <laughs> good card name that was a really good sense of humor cat 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 i don't think that's how you drink that Look at the card bottom left. I don't think that's how you drink anything, in fact. It's like, yeah, in theory. Oh, hey, more new cards. Like, in theory, free to play is neat, because, like, oh, anybody can play, and it's like, oh. Other people pay for your gaming, but like, number A, if other people are paying for the game 100%, um, the developer is not actually designing a game for you. The developer is designing it for the people that, that pay. You, if you, if you're not paying, they're they're not. There's no reason for the devs to care about you really. So that's why the gameplay tends to be ass unless you pay, because. You're not really supposed to enjoy it. You're supposed to in enjoy free-to-play games just enough that you don't quit. You're supposed to have just enough not fun that you're like, you know what, fuck this. I'm gonna spend 10 bucks to get, you know, an extra gosh upon pull or some shit. And <laughs> you would think that nobody would be silly enough to, like, spend hundreds on, like, random garbage, but no. In fact, that's why I quit Food Fantasy. Um, they had this extra layer of Gashapon, and they had wedding skins, because of course they did. And so people, it, even people in, like, our Food Fantasy chat in the Discord would, like, drop a hundred bucks, spin the wheel, get nothing. Genuinely just garbage. And, ugh, no, I, I can't be doing, can't be dealing with that. Yeah, they, 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 they design it for addiction, like, a lot of people that are pro F2P and stuff, like, they never acknowledge, like, the games are designed to addict people and, like, become your second job. Like, it's really insidious, it's not like just, oh, they want to make a good game and they want it to be free. Like, it sounds so... It sounds so nice and stuff. I'm just gonna see if there's any games out here. Oh, it's not available. Yeah, with Food Fantasy, it just felt very job-like, and just blurred. Let's see if anybody out there. I should probably pick, or I should at least level you up. I guess I could just level you up. Do I have enough? Oh jeez! Oh jeez, Rick! Leveling up's a lot of XP. I 
we'll get you to eight. Let's see if anybody's out there. It's unfortunately, it came out a few years ago at this point, so it's one of those games you kind of need to get some people to play with. The um, the survival thing, it's like a tower defense almost. It's really cool though. Um, you don't really need a full five, but it helps to have at least one or two other people you can play with. Yeah, food fantasy in particular, there's so much shit you gotta do. Like, I made an automated thing to do, like, the most basic of things, and it took, like, a half hour to execute, and it, it got off path just because it was so complex, and eh, I gave up. But, the one thing I would say to anybody, like, stuck in, uh-oh. So does this at least give me NPCs, or... But to anybody, like, stuck or feeling that, like, they really have to play their mobile game or something, even though they don't, like, enjoy it anymore, take a break for, like, a week. Like, delete it from your phone. And... If you go, honestly, if you go a day without playing it, you will probably just be like, oh, I don't even want to play it anymore. Because I, I deleted Food Fantasy and I felt a little bad the first day, and then after after n almost no time at all. Yeah, I have no chance here without NPCs. Can you play this with NPCs? I'm not sure. So I broke it. Yeah, just don't play it for even a brief bit. Wait, global matchmaking. Oh, right, this is like. Let's see if there's a global thing. No. Participants random. Oh, there's all these tiers. Can I put in. Oh, no! No, there's no idea what to do! Game, please. I thought you could put in NPCs in this. I think you can, I just didn't press the right button. Also, this is not a good gun for this, you want something more rapid fire. I think we use the minigun mostly, if I played it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also kind of continue on the last, like every five waves is like a checkpoint, I think. Yeah, so like Pinball Land, I already got to... I think I beat it. Or no. 50. Oh my god. Yeah, there's 50... Um, so I beat Sakura Fields with somebody in an earlier stream. Snow World, I've gotten nowhere in. I think you can put in NPCs. I just don't know how. Yeah, add CPU. Uh... Oh, the bad thing about the NPCs, though, they start with everything. You can't select their gear. It's like a level 1 CPU, and it's... it's yeah, it, you really want to have players. But I can do this just to show it off. for this. Sure, that seems reasonably balanced. Like that. Eh, nobody's joining. 
I'll just do a couple waves just to show what this is like. It's fun though. Ideally, get a couple of friends to uh, to play it if you want to get all the way to the end of it. So how does this map work? It's so rude that it makes everything level one. Oh, we're not in the castle, huh? So yeah, there's three control points, and you lose if all of them go down. And while one is easier to defend, if they can take down one really easy. Oh god damn it, no! Get already taken some damage. Not a lot, but it also helps a lot to have multiple people just because they can appear on the other side of the map like this. Come on. So this one takes a lot longer to reload than the sniper rifle. Because it takes a lot longer to empty than the sniper rifle. Kinda need at least two people, one person for each end. And then if they attack the middle, it's pretty easy to get in place. Yeah, it's on sale on uh, on Steam at least. Huh? Oh, this is a different kind of jetpack. It is a this is basically a Huge jump jetpack and uh, kind of gradual glide jetpack. Sniper rifle gets the huge jump one. This one's just kind of slow. Eh? Oops. I, just, I didn't mean to be in here, game. Um. Oh, there's a big old hole. Frick. Ow. The girls on the floaties hurt a lot. There we go. So you gotta clear each five steps at a time. I think... Don't call me on this, but I think it refills it. We'll see here in a second. But yeah, I recommend it for the, definitely for the Steam sale price. It's really good. Do I have it on Steam myself? I don't have all of my stuff on Steam. So I definitely prefer to play the PS4 version. I forget if I got it or not. I think I have Esteval and Shinobi versus. Uh, yeah, I've got Peach Peak Splash. So if anybody ever wants to play a match on PC instead, um, I can play there. But uh, I won't have all my stuff. Oh yeah, this lets you get medals too. Medals, um, getting the medals um, let you, you can spend a certain amount of medals to buy a, uh, a brand new card that you've never gotten before. So even though there's crazy amounts of cards and stuff, you can use medals to directly buy. I don't think you get to choose which one it is, but you can always, you'll guarantee a new card. If anyone wants to try to get together a group or anything to play this co-op or like stream it, that'd be cool. Um, I can play a little bit on PC and grind at least like one weapon and a character. Sucks I'd have to rebuy Neptune and Sonico, but I have a lot of money on Steam that I'll probably never use. I, so I sold all my cards and stuff. I currently have like 200 bucks on there and I don't buy a lot of games on Steam anymore. I just have tons of games already. And a certain amount of stuff I get in review copies anyway. Oop! I keep doing that! I'm not used to this map. That hole is mean. Oh, frick! Get, get out of here, kid. 
Did our thing seal? I didn't. I forgot to look. I feel like they did. I think A. I think B took some damage. Unfortunately, in this mode, you're like never gonna get the soaking wet power up thing. It's possible, but it's a lot less likely than the regular modes. So, oh! I keep forgetting that I have these! I probably won't finish that, but I'll probably be able to finish the platinum for this tonight. I guess stay tuned on Twitter, I'll probably. I usually tweet out if I get a platinum trophy. I'll probably finish this up. Exactly how the SP works. I think you can use the SP. Hey, that's me! Uh, I think you can use the SP to like revive on like a later stage. Forget exactly how that works. My teammates aren't as useless as like. <laughs> I would have lost if I was solo there, so they're better to have them than not, I guess. I'm not sure if you get the medals the first time through or just every 10 levels. Did they ever make another console, um, Rune Factory game? I really liked Rune Factory Frontier, but the stuff I saw of the DS, Rune Factory, I, I don't know if I would be as excited for it. Power me up. Yes. No. See, there we go. Oh. For a brief moment she was trying to power me up. I actually need that a lot for my achievements. I can't need two anymore. Those things suck. They explode. Oh my god. They deal so much damage. Ah, oh. I, <laughs> I probably shouldn't use the minigun. There go. It runs out so easy. You kind of need to do the soaking wet power up if you're gonna need the if you're gonna use the minigun, just because it's so easy to run out and it's so punishing when you do. I think I usually use the hose in this. It recharges really fast and it has. lets you shoot for a while. I pretty much ignored the social aspect of uh, Heart Rune Factory Frontier personally. I mostly. I, ma I managed my runies really well. I uh, did all the dungeon stuff pretty quickly. Um, and my farm did pretty well, but I. Having to balance that in with all this, the talking to farms people and you know, townspeople and stuff. There's not enough hour in the day for all of it, and I just. It just wasn't as fun as the other aspects of the game. Especially the dating stuff. You just have to. Dating takes so long in that. Yeah, that's just cool. Would not recommend dating too slow. Get, get out of here, kids. Get out of here! No! Oh, frick, it's dead. I would forgotten what a pain in the butt the minigun can be, actually. Excuse me. How did you get here? What's those things? I 
Petri Four had just had so many villagers. I only really cared about the vampire girls in um, Frontier, but you could only even like actually date them after you beat the main game. And once I got to that point, I was just like, "All right, I gotta play. I gotta play another game," because I played pretty much only that game for a while. And I loved it to bits, but. I might have to stream that sometime, it's a really good game. But I don't know if they ever did another game in that vein. I think Frontier was a bit different than the portable ones. Wait, hold up. Oh, frick, too late. I was gonna change my gun, but I can't. But yeah, after Harvest Moon 64... I like the social aspect of things, but like I do not like... The missable aspect of stuff that too many Harvest Moon games do. I don't know if Rune Factory does that as much, but there was like so much stuff you could miss, and there was some mutually exclusive stuff. Like the only way to get Cliff to stay. Charge me up, boys. Ch charge. Yes? No? Maybe? Oh, come on. Don't tease me like that. I'll probably get it over the course of this, maybe. So the AI buddies do try to charge you up, they're just... They don't really care to finish the job, they get distracted and stuff. There we go. So this is something you can do in Soaking Wet Power Up Mode. I don't know. Get, get out of here. Yeah, there was stuff like to beat, to, to date the vampires in um, Frontier, you had to beat the game and there's some other stuff, but I don't know if the stuff was missable. I'm okay with requirements and stuff, just missable and mutually exclusive content just I, I do not like in like any context. Unless your game takes less than like two hours to beat. So like replaying and stuff would make sense, but like for a really long Harvest Moon game, nah. Also, this mode is a little bit rude in terms of how the enemies spawn. They can just kind of spawn in your area. It doesn't really have the like defense game thing of they, they spawn from a predefined location outside of your map and you can kind of try to catch up on them. You're basically guaranteed to take damage, but it's still possible to win totally. I think you kind of got into like, get into the 30s before the NPCs start being not enough. The Root Factor was fun. I haven't really played. I replayed some, uh, some of the original Harvest Moon on stream a while back. But since then, I haven't played it too much. I guess Animal Crossing kind of replaced that for me. It was a fair bit chiller in terms of that stuff. Shotgun I've never been that enamored with in this. What was the last actual Harvest Moon game? That was the 3DS one. I got the 3DS one, 
It was all right. It just felt really slow. I mostly, I honestly, I mostly got it because it came with this amazing cow plush. That was pretty big. It's over here on my uh, mantle right now, actually. If I, I got the 3DS just so I would have an excuse to buy that because like I didn't have a 3DS. Call me up. Get me moist, boys. Oh, frick. This one runs out fast too. Recharges faster. Oh yeah, you auto. Speaking of auto reload, I, I kind of misspoke on auto reload. Um, you you do auto reload very slowly, um, just without even any input at all. It's constantly recharging, but it's generally not enough, depending on the weapon. Oh, the blue numbers that come out of my friends when I splash them, that's the... That shows them how much I'm charging their soaking wet power-up thing. So, I'm gonna lose blue. Or B. Blue, B is, blue is B. No! You damn kids. This one's interesting. It's a really fast reload, but you have to do it a lot. That's kind of weird, because you have to hold to recharge because you're pumping the water gun. I don't think I was a big fan of the double pistols. Come on, give me that trophy already. How many more could I possibly need? So nice to oh right, and this is one where you just get a you get a boost jump. This is nice and fast, but it's not really a jetpack in this case. The one that the sniper has is my favorite um, jetpack. One of many reasons it's the best weapon. Not the best for this mod though. Those exploding things hurt a lot, as explosions tend to do. There we go. Do we know when Peach Ball is coming out? It's finally coming out. I didn't... Huh. It's coming out... Free pickup July 9th, apparently. I... I haven't heard from... I haven't heard from x in a while. Ugh. When I check my mail, I still go to inbox.com. Or inbox.google.com. Where did x -Seed... When did x last email me? I haven't heard through them in a few months, so I should ping them to make sure I'm still on their list. Huh. Yeah, it's coming out! It's coming out next week. It's a surprise. I, I just hadn't heard of it, like, at all for a while. I'll try a different gun again. Assault rifle, I think, is pretty balanced. As they tend to be. I have multiple Google calendars and for some reason it 
it puts holidays on all of them, so my agenda for the day is four Independence Days. It's the 4th of July. <laughs> There it is! I hadn't heard that before now. You, got, you gotta have that. You gotta be a kangaroo. Fucking kangaroos. Australia's just down there going WTF, mate. They'll be dead soon. Yeah, this one takes a little while to empty, but uh, recharges nice and quick. I think it just does a bit less DPS than the dual pistols. Charge me up, dammit. Dang, we already lost the thinger. Oh, this one has a pretty alright jetpack. Did we lose or win? Oh, we lost. Frick. That was fast! Alright. I'm feeling stiff today, I do feel like something. We got something coming on. Um, oh, but we get a medal if we clear it. Eh. Yeah, like I said, wave 30 is where the AI starts kind of not being enough. I'm not sure exactly how the SP thing works. Um, Alright, fun stream. Um, I think I'm out for the day. I got, a, I got some other stuff I want to get to. But, uh, it's fun to do a little Senator Kagura stream again. Um, maybe I'll stream Peach Ball. I didn't realize it was coming out so soon. Huh. Image still not final. Is that, is that really when it comes out then? Peach Ball. Let me check the Amazon thing. Yeah, Amazon says July 9th. And they've got final box art. And that, does that come with Shinobi Ruffle? Hmm. I thought at least in... At least in Japan, I thought it came with Shinobi Ruffle. Did we get that on Switch? behind on all of my things. Well, Bloodstained has terrible reviews on, at least the physical re release has terrible reviews on Amazon. What's the deal with that? I thought that was pretty good. Or, people said it was pretty good, I haven't played it yet. Welcome to my reading Amazon reviews stream. I guess maybe the Switch version just has bad... Switch version, oh, yes, the Switch version isn't the version to play. That makes sense. Anyway, fun stream. Remember to check out uh, this Saturday we've got uh, board game night. Those are always those are always a blast. So, hopefully all my subscribers and patron peeps that uh, want to join can. We'll be drinking to Mario Party 3. There's a little drinking game. You play with all easy mode CPUs, which are hilariously terrible. And half the fun is just watching the AI just be stupid. And basically you drink. You select one of the characters. Obviously not you're playing. But you drink whenever something bad happens to your character, basically. Which is pretty often because they make, they make terrible life choices. It's pretty good. 
Well, good night, everybody. Have a happy America Day. Don't blow your hands off. That would be bad. Or any other part of yourself. That would still be bad. Tap Tap here. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.